today, um, I'm gonna teach you how to make the modded sticky bullet. <sighs> modded sticky dart. My bad. Okay, so, um, first sure what you're gonna need is one of these, you can either have the green ones I have, the nerf ones, or this one. I recommend not using cheap stuff. Reason. Cheap stuff is not durable enough to have the hot glue put into the top. And I accidentally put some in there. It's not durable enough to have hot glue on the top. And it just weighs it down and it'll just go when you shoot it. That's all it does. It doesn't even go very far. So. Today, um, I'm going to teach you how to do this, and we're going to have a shoot test with my Nerf Maverick. So, first of all, what you're going to do, you want to grab, if you have, I accidentally put some excess glue, so i got to take that out. So, first what you're going to need is your hot glue gun and your Nerf bullet, and you start squeezing. And make sure, if you're young, make sure you have your parents do this. Hold up, I'm running out of glue. Uh oh. Oh, that's just so dis. Hold up, we got some. It ain't, hold up guys, just a second. Oh God. Okay, there we go, I got some. It was just jammed. And for some reason this ain't getting pushed in. We don't need no burning people on my channel. So what you need to do, you make a complete flat surface. It's what I'm trying to do now. It's kind of hard because I'm running out of hot glue. So I basically sort of did it. Uh, it's not that flat. So like that, you need to make a complete flat surface. Let that dry for a little while. I'm gonna come back with some new, more hot glue and, and wait till this dries. Okay guys. Okay guys, Um, I don't have any more glue sticks. So what I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna use these scissors and I'm gonna push this down in here and it should come out. So what you want to do, you want to make like a dome like structure on the top. So, if you can't perfectly do that, um, my first attempt was so great. Um, so I'm gonna try to do my best here. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like in the end. And trust me, I'm not 100% perfect on this. Oh god. Jesus. These Nerf bullet darts.
Okay, so I think I got it here. Um, now I'm gonna try to remove some of the excess uh, glue. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more on the top. I guess you can see this is a quite tedious task. And trust me, I would not do this on any expensive furniture because these Nerf darts, they fall so easily. Or you could just have a friend holding it right here. Still, I would still get your girl to do it. All you really do is you just get a squirt of glue or hot glue and just uh, pull it around a little bit to make like a dome. It's not like you have to make like a perfect dome, but just good enough so you can get it. And that's it. Now I just need to wait this for this dry because it is quite sticky and I don't want to touch it yet. So I'm going to wait a couple minutes. The, this, my, the glue I have doesn't, and I will remove this part of the excess glue right here. But it is quite sticky so I can't really touch it. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this for safety reasons, fire hazards. Yeah, I'm supposed to teach you fire hazards on this channel as what YouTube uh, educational. There, that, that's my educational. Don't cause a fire with an a hot glue gun. That's my educational quote. Don't cause fire with glue gun. And uh, the thing is, we will use be using tons of hot glue guns in this. All right. In this series, you're going to be using tons of. Uh, rubber bands and hot glue. So, if you want to watch all the episodes of this series, I suggest you get those items like I have I'm not going to show you the name but I have a whole bag of a rubber bands here and I got some hot glue I gotta get a little bit more because I used all my hot glue on my first three attempts and trust me three darts equals almost one whole stick so and I think this is dry now. Yeah, it's, it's quite dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove this part of the glue here. And there we go. See how it looks like a dome here? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a test fire. And I'm gonna find a way to strap my Nerf gun, to my, or my phone to my Nerf gun so we can see it happening. So I'll be right back to you. Okay guys, so I've strapped down my phone with um, so a couple rubber bands on the Nerf gun. It seems quite, quite okay. So I wanna go ahead and test fire this. So here we go. Here we go. And... Oh, it went the wrong way. Okay, so here we go again. Yeah. So let's see. I am stand. All right, let's see. How many feet am I? So I'm standing about. Oh god. No, 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 no. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six feet. But that's also because of a wall. So that's. So it basically went about ten feet. And so that's the Nerf gun, you guys. Here it is. And that is how you make a modded Nerf gun. Trust me, do not shoot up close to these things. They hurt as crap. 
So yeah, this is Wilmot Jarrett signing off, you guys.